All right, Cliff, are you ready? All right. On three. One. Two. Okay, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Hold on. Okay, three. Oh, God. We didn't mean to. I know you're mad. I'm sorry. Come on, Cliff. Save me, Cliff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, why are you flying? What's going on, guys? TBF Gaming, and we are back in Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One Ragnarok map. Check it out, guys. It's time to take out our Allosaur. We haven't really played around with this guy. He's pretty high level. Uh, we've been just messing around with a little bit for the last, like, 10, 15 minutes. Just level him up a little bit. Uh, and then we realized we need to go on a meat run. We're pretty much out of meat um, back at the base. So we're going to take this guy out. But look how awesome he looks when he's running around. So, man, we're excited to get back into Ark today. We've been playing a whole bunch of uh, Seven Days to Die. We played a little bit of Cuphead. A couple other games, but it's definitely good to get back into Ark and get our thing going on here on our server. Uh, so here on the TBFG server, really excited to get some things going. Uh, let's see. I think down here probably the best way to go for food. Uh, the only thing I got to be careful of is there's a Bronto down there. We've been eyeing if we didn't kill it already. Uh, we're gonna go down here get a little bit of meat together. Let's see if we can time this right. I always mess this up. Uh, let's go. Oh my God, I messed that one up bad. How bad did we hurt you? Ooh, really bad. Okay, <laughs> that was not good. All right, let's get you some food so you can heal up, buddy. My bad. All right, yeah, you're supposed to jump off right before you hit the ground. Oh wow. We did it again. We were looking at the water. What are we doing? We're trying to lose our Allosaurus here. All right, so usually there's a couple of Brontos and Diplos and some other things down here. So maybe we can get lucky and get that stuff going. Uh, we're going to have to take a pause and actually feed him up now since we've been jumping off all kamikaze style getting our guy hurt. So we'll have to fix that up, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. We've got some pretty awesome stats on this guy. Let's see. We'll after we eat this guy real quick, I'll show you what we got going on with this guy. So here's his stats across the board. Uh, 10,000 health, even though we've knocked it down to 3,000 by our little uh, craziness, craziness there. Uh, stamina, 1,200. No, who cares? Uh, weight, 1,000. Melee, 1,000. And then movement. For some reason, this guy started with way below 100% on movement. Uh, he's getting almost to 100% now. We've been leveling that up just a little bit. Uh, but it's uh, definitely not as high as we would like it for movement speed. But he's already he's pretty fast for the fact that it's such a low number. He's got a decent amount of speed use. Here's our sprint right here not too bad definitely definitely not too bad all right so we got a couple things planned today so right now like I said we're just going out we're doing a quick meat run uh, see if we can get some meat going for the base is that is that a Quetzal well over you buddy oh my god okay change of plans oh my gosh I don't know if we can find this guy again all right let's let's try it though let's see if I can hurry get back to base uh, we'll eat everything on the way there that'll be, be the only meat we get and then we're gonna go jump on our uh, Griffin, and we're gonna attempt to solo tame a Quetzal. Uh, I have never successfully solo tamed a Quetzal. Honestly, uh, even with other people, I, it usually doesn't work out too well. So we need to hurry back to base here. Oh man, that dang stamina! These guys drain stamina really fast. So we're waiting on the stamina to get a little bit of healing going on real quick. Uh, but I've never been real successful taming a Quetzal. So the the plan was today. Obviously, the plan's changing real quick here, but. The plan is to go down to the desert area. I really want to go down to the desert area. I'd really like to get a Draboa, maybe a uh, Morello Top, some of the you know the the non-hostile creatures down there. Grab up a couple of those, and then if we see one, I'm always on the hunt for a Thylacolio, and I've heard they actually spawn pretty uh, constant down there. So something we're gonna have to check out. I know on the actual Scorched Earth map they they spawn quite a bit, so I assume down in the desert area you'll see a few too. Uh, I was told you can find them down there, so that's what we're gonna go try out. Uh, let's go a little bit further over to get across here. Can I make it up right here? Let's, let's see, actually, this might be the better way to go up. I'm not really sure. Also, we've actually been finding beehives, which we, we didn't really see a lot of before, but I've actually found a few of them on these cliff sides. And it might not be a bad idea to get us a little bit of that going. Ooh, what level are you? Oh, level, level lunch. That guy's a level lunch guy. Alright, there we go, perfect. Alright, who are you? You've been standing there for a while doing nothing. Hopefully we don't accidentally eat some really, really high level guys here. Alright, let's run through here. I've actually never been through this little canyon. Look at the metal down here. Holy cow. So there's all the metals. Okay. We know where all the metal is now. Yeah, I don't... Okay, this is over the beaver area. Okay, so we know where we're at. We're right next to the little beaver ponds. We'll go around the corner here, be back at base. And then we're going to try to go get this guy. So give me just a minute. I'm going to go back to base get me some... Uh, Trank darts loaded up as many of those as I can. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple 
actual firearms too. I have a couple of long neck rifles over there. I think AB stole the really high one, the Ascendant or the Mastercraft, whatever it was. So that's okay. We'll, we'll stick with the uh, just a regular primitive one. And then we are going to go attempt to tame a quest. So I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, we're on our way back to where we spotted the quetzal. Hopefully it's still in the same area. We can find it fairly quickly. Uh, you know, we usually don't have much luck when it comes to finding things after we found them the first time. But hopefully, we'll be a little bit lucky this time. I grabbed one uh, long neck rifle. I grabbed uh, a couple crossbows. I, I have about 178 trank arrows. And I've got quite a bit, uh, or I've got just 50 of the actual, uh, what would you call it, the 50 of the actual tranquilizer darts. So, not a lot of the darts. Uh, let's see. Where's our buddy Quetzal here? He was not too high height, like flight path wise. There he is. This is our buddy because we have a tendency to go after the wrong one the second time. Nine. Okay, let's try this out. And you guys have seen me in the past. I'm bad at flying. I'm bad at shooting. So now we're going to combine these two things. Should be perfect, right? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, let's definitely go with our gun for just a minute here. All right. Oh, that'd be awesome if you got stuck into a cliff. We'd, we'd appreciate that. There you go. That only does 30 damage. I think that'll be a little bit better there. Oh, come on. There we go. I, th I think it hit him. I'm not even sure now. All right, Quetzal. Let's not ride right into the dang sabers. Let's not do that. Oh, I think that's my blood that's coming off from the... Oh, why, why can't we fire? We're having some firing issues here. There we go. Hit him that time. Oh, that'd be perfect if we could stay below him. Obviously, what we're more worried about is going into this snow area. Just don't, don't fly us into a Uteranus. See, it's looking like it's hit him, but I'm not getting the hit marker for it. I'm not 100% not sure here. See, you can see the blood. Is that coming off of me? There we go. That definitely hit him. There you go. There's another indication. It's because he actually starts flying off all sporadic. So There we go. There we go. Oh, stay right there. There we go. Let's get a few shots into him while he's sitting right there. Oh, we definitely hit ourselves. No, we, we hit him that time too. Okay. There we go. Let's get some shots into this guy. Alright, we're going to shoot our our Ascendant just a couple times. I know that does a quite a bit more damage. As long as we don't hit a headshot, it's not too bad. It's 80 compared to 30, so that, that'd be okay. Oh, come on, man. That'd be awesome if we could down one of these. We've had to borrow AB's Quetzal every time we've gone out. His was a pretty high level, like what, we were 100, 120, somewhere in there when we first got it. I know it was a decent level. Uh, I think this will be the first 150 if I could actually down it, which uh, obviously I'm not betting on actually being able to do it, but we'll see. Uh, we've already we've shot about 15 darts. I don't know how many we've actually hit. Not a lot. Oh, this would be sweet if you could just stay right there. I'm not going to mess with anything. We're doing just fine stamina-wise. As long as I keep avoiding my own wing, we should be okay. There we go. All right, come on now. All right, hopefully you start feeling sleepy really soon. There we go. All right. Keep firing right there. This this makes it a little bit easy if we're not having to dip and dodge through our own stuff here. Doing fine stamina wise. Keep checking on that. All right. Any issues? No issues. All right, there we go. So that's about 15 or so actual trank arrows into him. And we're not sure how many actually trank darts I actually hit into him. I shot 15, but I think I only hit maybe. Somewhere between three and five, I think, give or take. Ah, uh, just don't kill this guy like you did the bear the last couple days. Uh, you guys, if you guys didn't check it, make sure you go check the last episode. We actually attempted to tame up bears twice uh, on camera and then twice off camera. So a total of four bears that we attempted to tame, and every single one of them died. I don't know what was going on uh, that we can't seem to tame those guys up. We're just doing too much damage. But I, I even shot some where I waited like almost 10 seconds between a shot, and I really, really, really took my time. And we still had an issue with it. So really bummed out about that, but that's okay. Uh, we'll, we will definitely try it again because I, I definitely want to get a couple bears. I love having the bears. Uh, you start breeding those guys up. Those things are 
super predators on this actual uh, in this game. Oh, okay. Are you running? Are you stuck? Where are you? Oh, where is he? I can't see. Let's get turned around here. Oh, he's still stuck. Okay. Okay, let's turn around, turn around. Oh, stay right there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, don't get unstuck on me. Stay right there. Come on, we never get this lucky. Oh, man. Come on. Getting drowsy, man. Get tired for me. Somewhere around 30 trank, uh, arrows so far. Alright, just to be sure, we're gonna we're gonna switch to the actual gun just in case. I just don't wanna accidentally kill this guy. There we go. You see it's doing way less damage, but we're still getting decent topor. I, I know it'll be a little bit less topor, but at least this way, hopefully I don't have to worry about killing the guy. I know he has decent health, but just after those bears, I've been a little bit uh, bummed out. Uh, the only reason we didn't do anything else in the last episode, so we, we failed on the bears miserably. And then we had to deal with a Listro overpopulation problem. <laughs> there was apparently uh, I, I at one point left a whole bunch of Listros breeding and had somewhere around uh, 200 or so Listros over there all running wild, all unclaimed. And it was causing huge problems on the actual server to where the, it, it almost crashed on us a couple times. And then when I started killing them, uh, it did crash. And in order to actually kill them, I had to have the server owner actually restart the server uh, and change the settings away from PvE to PvP and allow friendly fire. Then once they did that, I could take out all the Listros, kill a whole bunch of them, crash the game at least once during that, that twice maybe, and then uh, and then we were able to clear out all those Listros. And then we found out another person on the server actually grabbed some of those uh, stray Listros, grabbed them together, threw them into his base, and then they were already on Wander. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Is he down? Is he down? Oh. We're sitting here talking. Oh, my goodness. He's unconscious. Okay. Let's quickly look around the area. All right, let's let's get a grid coordinate just to be sure in case I get lost here. Thirty, thirty-six, thirty, thirty-six. All right, don't let me forget that. When I forget that, yell at yell at the camera real quick for me. All right, man. Oh man. Okay, is there anything, any kind of bad hombres in the area? There's a couple. Let's get rid of these dire wolves. These dire wolves we don't want anywhere near us. There we go. Get a little bit of meat off that guy, and then we want to get a little bit of prime meat off these uh, mammoths up here. Uh, let's see. Don't get lost. Just don't get lost. There we go. Let's do some damage on this guy. There we go. We don't need too much. We just need a little bit of prime meat to get the uh, Quetzal going here. Alright. Anybody else mad? Are we safe? Are we safe? Let's not sprint. I don't want to dive bomb on the Quetzal here. Uh, where are we at? Am I already lost? We didn't go that far, did we? Should be right there, I think. Hold on, am I? Did I get lost already? No, we're in the same spot. Okay. Should be just up here somewhere. Other side of the rock, maybe? There he is. There he is. Okay. Let's get some of this prime. All right, prime, prime, where are you at? Let's go like this, prime. Oh, there we go, 12 prime. So that's not a lot, we we'll might need a little bit more than that, uh, depending on how much this is per, our, our rates on the server, uh, you guys have seen this all season, they are pretty high, but it's, it's to the point now where uh, it does take a few bites for some of these guys, especially the uh, the her herbivores, they take forever. Uh, let's see. Transfer that across. All right, let's see how much it is per. Come on. Uh, there it is. So, oh my goodness, why are we glitching like that? Don't do that to me. Okay, 10%. So it's going to take 10 of the prime if they don't spoil. But obviously that'll spoil if we leave it very long. Let's uh, continue to kind of go around the area here. Make sure none of these guys are going to get close and give us trouble. No other dire wolves in the area. Nothing's going to drop from above. 
I'm not too worried about the actual uh, rhinos. No, no worries with those guys. All right, let's see. No. Who else can I take out? Oh, we're cold. Do we have? I have all my fur armor on. We're still cold. I hate these areas. These areas give us so much trouble. All right, you ran us a little bit further over. There we go. Oh, I can't turn around. There we go. Just don't glitch on me now. Okay, we got we don't get prime out of those guys. Okay, and we know that now. All right, where else can we get some prime? I guess we can take out an RG or two. RG's not too hard of a target. There we go. You can see that dive bomb does so much damage. Now we're up to 2,800 on a dive bomb for damage. That's definitely awesome. Uh, where were we at here? Is it right here? Man, I can't believe we're ice cubed right here. We gotta be a little bit careful. All right, where's it, where's our buddy at here? Is it 20%? It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to babysit him for just a little bit, and then we'll bring it back. Oh, what is that noise? That's that rhino above us? Okay, just a rhino. But I'm going to babysit for a little bit, and we'll bring you back when it's time to have this guy get up. Perfect. We should be back just in time for this guy to get up. He's at 9. There it is. Perfect. See, look at that. Good timing. We went and got a little bit of a narcotic. We didn't even need it. Level 224 Quetzal. Awesome. Let's get this guy back home. So it's going to take a minute to get him back home. You know, Quetzals are not that fast compared to Griffins. Uh, but, man, our first ever solo Quetzal. Now, I know I know it's not as, as big a deal on the back of a Griffin because that kind of makes it, you know, a little easy because you can shoot from the back of the Griffin. But it's still, still to me, a pretty big achievement just because it was not something we've been able to do. So, uh, And during the time that we were waiting for him to get up, we went around and got a few drops. We got a blueprint for an assault rifle. Uh, I think I already had that on me. Uh, Mastercraft. Uh... Chitin or chitin chest piece, blueprint for a flak helmet, which would be awesome, a grenade, which we, I guess we won't really use, uh, some blueprints for oil pump, metal pipe, uh, metal hatch frame, a blueprint for a parasaur saddle, and I think that was the main one. I don't think we had anything else super huge that we got, but really excited to get that. So let's take a minute to get this guy back. Oh man, so definitely a change of plans. Not what we were planning on getting done today, but this will be absolutely awesome. Can't wait to get back and see what color he is. Figure out a name for this guy. It's going to be pretty cool. If you guys have a cool name for it, definitely let me know. Uh, we did get a griffin trapped. It's only a level 25, but I got a griffin trapped over there that I'm trying to tame up. Uh, hopefully it'll be tamed up by the time I get back. And then uh, that one's going to be named... <laughs> oh god, what was it? Uh, for, I think, I think his name was Finn said he wanted to be that to be named um, Peter Griffin so obviously it makes a lot of sense with the Griffin to have a, a Peter Griffin name so we're gonna get that named up uh, assuming he tames up over there I'm gonna go check on him in a few minutes and then we should have that be our fifth Griffin and this it's a lower level one it's the only one I've seen on the map lately uh, right right over there in the the hills right over there we saw him so I'm gonna hopefully get him up I gotta keep waiting on this guy I was gonna break camera but I guess we're already here so it wasn't too far. The ice area is actually pretty close to here, so it doesn't take too long to get back. So let's get this guy landed over here. And we're, we're going to go ahead and actually build up a platform saddle for this guy. I, I think we haven't learned it yet, but hopefully we got all the stuff we need to actually make one. Uh, we'll know in just a minute. All right, let's get this guy over here. So 224. Check that out. Completely awesome. All right, let's see what we need for a saddle. I know it's super dark here. Let's get, a, let's get some light going. There we go. So looks like a very similar car to the last one. This one is female. Let's check and see what the other one was. We'll go upstairs and check it out for green zone. Because you already know if we have a, uh, a male and female, we can get some eggs going. Let's see. Green zone is a... Oh, they're both female. Okay. Man, that would have been awesome. A 225 uh, male and female would have been sweet. But oh well, okay, that's okay. All right, uh, oh, that's right. We're going to look for saddles. So I know I don't know the Ingram yet for it. Let's look at Quetz here. I think I did the regular saddle, but not the platform. I'm not sure. Let's let's check for sure. Quetz, platform saddle. So I'm going to need cementing paste. We have tons of that. Metal, we have tons. Silica pearls, 220. I'm going to need to go get some silica pearls, I think. Let's double check down below just to see. All right, so silica pearls I think we're going to be short on. 
Uh, let's see, pearls. Uh, yeah, I have 52 pearls, so we're definitely going to need some more pearls. Uh, cementing paste, we're good. Oh, and then, you know what? Let's show you guys around base real quick since we got this brand new uh, Quetzal going. Uh, I'll do a quick base tour before we go out and get our saddle made up. So check it out. We've got a few things building up over here. Uh, you know, we've already had this middle area where the actual industrial forge was. We're building like some little extra dino areas over here so you can see uh, a couple little spots form here. And then, I uh, know it zooms in when we do that. Over there you can see we've got our trikes. Uh, we're trying to do this in zoomed out version so it's a little bit hard. We've got our trikes, another one for our equus over there. Uh, I say trikes, one trike. Uh, next one is our beavers over there. And then on the, on the front side we have our anklo and our dodic. Oh, and then you can see Look right there, hanging out there. AB said he didn't have time to put it anywhere. He just dropped it off in the middle of the base. Look at this guy. A 217. So I think he must have been a 140, 135, something like that. So we'll get that guy saddled up and back in the base too. And then he also said he dropped off an iguanodon somewhere. Let's see if we can find that real quick. Oh, feel pretty close. There we go. Let's go. He said he, he said he left an iguanodon up on top somewhere. So we'll see if we can find this iguanodon. Let's see. No, no. I got that guy off camera a couple episodes ago if I didn't show you that. So we got two terror birds now. Oh, there it is. Okay, Iguanodon 216. So this one had to be pretty high level too. So 216 Iguanodon, same thing. I'll get a saddle on that guy, get him moved inside. And then down here he got the Paraceratherium para level 209. So that's another high one. I think that was like a 140 or 130, something like that. So really awesome. That's our first one of those on the actual server. Really cool. All right, Um, right, let's see. So we're doing a quet saddle. Um, uh oh, are we missing a griffin? I'm not seeing AB's griffin. I see mine over there. I don't think he's on the server right now. I hope we didn't lose his griffin. We've had a problem with a couple of griffins flying off for some reason. All right. Oh, and then up in here, I did want to show you this. We got a little spot. I got to grab the otters right here. We got a little spot for the otters up top. Check this out. Also, we're missing two otters. I don't know where they went to. I looked around for them. I don't know if they fell through the earth. I don't know if uh, they ran off when there was an attack. I'm not really sure. But we got a little otter pen up here now. Oh, don't freeze on me now. Up inside here, we got a couple little rooms. And we're going to throw the otters up inside here. So they got their own little pen. There we go. And I'll, I'll deck it out with a few things so it's not just completely a, a little empty little room like that. And we're going to do that with most of the smaller tames. So if I get some jerboa, some other things like that. And the nice thing is the room is kind of small so I can turn it into a taming area too. We're also kind of wondering, if, did you eat the otters? Look at me. Did you eat the otters? I'm not sure. All right. <laughs> I'm not sure if he did or not. No, I know I know he wouldn't just eat them like that. But for some reason, we're missing two otters. We don't know why. Uh, <laughs> we just want to blame the snake because, you know, we don't like that snake at all. So there we go. There's our two otters inside. And they are, it is male and female, correct? Female, male, perfect. We just got to figure out where the other two otters are at. But that's okay if we don't find them. At least we got a male and female up there. We can go ahead and mate again. Oh, that's one way to get down. Uh, let's double check. Is there anything else in here that we've gotten recently? Uh, we did bring our other hyena don from the other base. We finally got him over here. Uh, we got a little bit of food left. Perfect. There we go. Get a little bit of meat going. All right. Close that guy up there. All right. Let's see about getting... Let's see about getting, what did I say? We need silk of pearls. Where are we at? No, not ammo. Uh, pearls. So I have 52. And I need some cementing paste. I think I need like 120 or something like that. We'll double check it all right now so I know exactly what I go get. So we'll do it all in one shot here. All right. So saddle and quet saddle. So I need, oh, no, I have enough silk of pearls. Awesome. Okay, pearls, bam. So we've got plenty of pearls, actually. So I need fiber and hide is all we need. Let's go ahead and throw this over here, even though we don't need it now. So let's grab fiber and hide. Like two stacks of each should be enough, I think. Oh, we're dehydrated now, too. All right, let's grab two stacks of fiber. A one and a two. Oh, we're getting all kinds of freezing going. Two fibers and get a little bit of hide. We're getting a little low on hide. We're going to have to see if we can... Uh, go get more hide here pretty soon. Although, I bet we have some on the T-Rex out there. Let's get us some water. Run right over here. All right. Bam. No longer thirsty. Awesome. All right. Close that guy up. And then let's head out here and see if we can make up this Quetz platform saddle. Oh, 
was I look I might have been looking at the wrong saddle too. So I might have been lying. We might not have enough to make it. Let's go hide. Hide. Fiber. Fiber. Alright, let's see. Okay, so now saddles. Oh man, I, w I was wrong. So for silk or pearls, I need about another 40 pearls and then about another 80 metal, which I have tons of metal. I don't know if I have it in here. Oh, awesome. AV went out and got us some fuel made. Good job, AV. We appreciate that. We've been saying that we needed more fuel. He went and got some made for us. So let's grab a couple stacks of metal right here. Grab this, throw right here. And then all we need is 50 pearls, I think. We can go down to the beaver area and get us some pearls. I know we're going to get a little bit of a beaver attack going afterwards. That's okay. Uh, where do we park our guy? Oh, you know what? Just in case our weight gets kind of high, let's take Cliff Jumper because he's got crazy high weight here. All right, let's go. So we should be able to just land on one of these nests, uh, the beaver dams, and actually get us, hopefully, get us a bunch of silica pearls. I think that's where we've been getting them, but I just don't remember. But We'll go ahead and get this drop over here while we're at it. So we're going to grab this drop, little purple drop over here. All right, let's see. Yeah, we'll go down here to this actual beaver dam. And then I'll get this drop. Actually, let's get the drop first just in case it disappears. And then we'll swing back around. Get, hopefully we'll get something good in this drop. It's got a little ring around it, so that might might be something good. But we've been, we've been having really good luck on drops today, so we want to keep making sure uh, we're checking into these. And then we will get... The last bit of stuff we need for our saddle and then get our saddle made up. This is going to be absolutely awesome. Now our plan is to take out these quets and actually use the quetzal. Use one to grab the thylacoleo and the other one's going to have a cage on the back of it. And we're going to have a mobile taming cage. I think that's what we're going to go with. I don't know. We've kind of talked about a couple different ideas. Ooh. There's a couple of good blueprints. Ascendant Megaloceros saddle. Cool. Oh wait, no. Megaloceros, not Megalosaurus. I was thinking of it was Megalosaurus. That's not too bad though. Let me go down here. Hopefully, I think you can get silica pearls on these things. I can't remember for sure. Let's find out. All right. We know we're going to get lots of people mad at us. You know, let's do this. Let's park our buddy over here so we can make a run for it. All right. Here we go. Destined to be a disaster. Let's do this. Let's see if I can look at it from the outside without getting in. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. We don't want to mess with these guys. What level are these guys in here? An 85 and a... Oh, I can't see it. It won't let me see the level. Oh, 20. Okay. All right. Let's watch a whole bunch of beavers get mad here. <laughs> There's 29. That's not going to be enough. Yep, I know you're mad. Where's your buddies at? Are they mad too? Oh, yeah, they're coming. Oh, man. Angry beavers there. Oh, oh, they are attacking. They are attacking. Oh, no. Okay. Run for it, buddy. <laughs> go, 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 go. Okay, Cliff. Save us, Cliff. There we go. Okay, there's not too many beavers in this area. We're, we're good to go over here. Let's check the other big beaver dam real quick. We need about 30 or 40 more silica pearls, and then we'll be good to go to make our saddle. All right, go right down here. This one usually has a lot more beavers. I don't know how many are in it today. A lot of times we end up having like anywhere from like 10 to 20 beavers in here. So let's make them all mad. That sounds like a good idea. Oh yeah, there's definitely a few down here. Uh, oh, we got a Diplo over there too. Might have to check that guy out later. Let's just park you right here so we can jump right back on. I think this will work out. Let's see. Don't fall down into the thing. All right. Oh, there's a Galley Mine that's stuck inside this one. Awesome. All right, Silica Pearl is 24. Perfect. That gives us 53. Oh. Why am I stuck? Oh no, don't fall in. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Look at this. Oh, Cliff Jumper, I can't reach you. Can you come save me? You can't. Oh man. Okay. You know the only choice we have. Oh, we might die. There's so many. The only choice we have is to destroy the nest. <laughs> this is going to be a really bad idea. Let's grab the flower. Let's grab the mushroom. Uh, I don't really need cementing paste, so we're going to drop most of that. Okay, we might die here. This might be a horrible, horrible experience. All right. All right, Cliff, are you ready? All right. On three. One. Two. Okay, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Hold on. 
Okay, three. Oh, God. We didn't mean to. I know you're mad. I'm sorry. Come on, Cliff. Save me, Cliff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, why are you flying slow? so slow, Cliff? Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of mad beavers. Look at that. Hey, we saved the galley minus, so we set the galley minus free. Now, let's see if we have enough silica pearls to build our first ever Quetz platform saddle on the server. This should be awesome. Uh, where's our base? We're lost. There we go. Okay, there we go. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to have time this episode to go check on that griffin at the other side. There we go. There's our brand new quets. Can't wait to get a saddle on. This is going to be awesome. Let's fly right over here. All right, we're going to land. Come on now. Don't freeze on me. We've been having a lot of server problems. We've been downloading uh, Battlefront multiplayer, trying to get a couple of things downloaded. So our network's been just crazy slow because we're downloading so much. All right, let's get in here and do this real quick. Oh, my bad, Cliff. You're still on follow. Okay, stop. Oh, perfect. That's where we need you. All right, let's check it out. Please tell me I have enough now. 53 more. Saddle. Yep. Cla uh, quits. Platform saddle. Absolutely. So now we have a platform saddle on our quits and on our Paraceratherium. So that'd be awesome. Oh man, this one takes a while to build. That's okay. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. A couple more. And bam, just like that. Outstanding. Super awesome. Let's get back out here. <laughs> There's the Sarko. That dang Sarko up there. I keep I keep seeing it and think it's like some crazy dinosaur hiding out. Alright, here we go. Quetzal. Can we not reach you? Okay, follow me. I need you to come a little lower to the ground. Come on. Okay, stay right there. Stay. 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 You don't follow directions well. Let's see. Platform saddle. Let's ride this guy. There it is, guys. Look at that. How awesome is this? We're going to be able to build on this like crazy. The Quetz platform saddle. So I'm going to build me a cage on top of this, like a mobile taming cage. And then we're going to use this to go tame up some of the cooler dinosaurs we haven't had a chance to tame up yet. And this will be our little mobile taming base. How cool will that be? Really excited to do this. So this was definitely a change of plans for the episode. We were planning on going down to the desert. We just, you know, ran into a 150 quets. And if you see a 150 quets, you stop what you're doing. That's the way it works. Uh, pretty much any 150 that's, like, worth having, you definitely stop what you're doing and go for it. So there it is. Oh, man. So cool. Let's do this. Look at that, guys. I love it. Really, really cool. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. So we got us a 150 quets. It took a little while. We tamed it. Uh, solo using our Griffin, which was really cool. First time we've been able to do that successfully. So we got our brand new quest. So we'll think of a name for this in between episodes. All right, guys, if you could, make sure you get, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you check us out on the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox One, right in the rock map. Thanks, guys.